Oh, has it um, been a week already since the last one? Oh, then I'll go very quickly and. I've gained snot But the other one, huh? I wonder what that request meant. But I'm sure it has nothing to do with some obscure Christmas special from 1999, right? The great voice talent that is known as Drew Barrymore. It didn't have animation that was contributed by the creators of Jimmy Neutron. And the fact that a good chunk of people that created future armor, including Matt Groening, and even a little help from Dan Castellano, they didn't contribute to this little gem, this other one. <laughs> Wouldn't that be weird? Coming up next on Fox, the rare showing of Matt Groening's All of the Other Reindeer, starring Drew Barrymore. Okay, before going into this thing, a few notes to note that receive pre-mixed feelings for myself. Yes, this special is produced by Futurama creator Matt Groening and the curiosity company that Futurama brought to life. That is good, but the animation itself is from the same people that made Jimmy Neutron DNA Productions. <laughs> but hey, the voice cast looks promising, I guess. We have Edward Eisner, Billy West, and Dan Castanoada. It also features Peter Mignicol. Yuck. But hey, the music composed is from the same guy that did Futurama. But there are also songs in it. Yuck. But hey! the screenplay was written by the same person that wrote one of my favorite Simpsons episodes of all time, Hurricane Daddy, where Ned Flanders' faith in his religion and friends is tested. A true example of everyday struggles. This guy also wrote for David Letterman. <gasps> so, yeah, I'm kind of on a mixed bag of feelings in this one here, but... You know what? That doesn't really mean anything until I watch this actual special, All of the Other Reindeer. It might not be so bad, I mean, I mean, come on! The first scene, the very first scene, I am sure, will bring me that festive joy that we come to love in this great, great holiday. I love Valentine's Day and the 4th of July. I'm a little bit sad when Halloween has gone by. I'm thankful Thanksgiving comes around in the fall. But I've always loved Christmas, the best of them all. <laughs> Day special, I'm not complaining, but I'm always counting the days still remaining till Christmas. Oh, come on, I don't have to be so melodramatic about it. I mean, singing terribly is one thing, but this is a well known actress that a lot of people seem to like. I mean, and this is pretty much gonna be have her talking for the most part, so it's like, come on, come on, say a line or two then, Miss Barrymore. Come on, come on, show me, show me your talents that everyone seems to keep you coming back to do more movies and specials and. Here you go! All that wonderful piney smell and no needles to vacuum up. It's on me. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I could question how the voice actress for our main character was earning her $50 paycheck for this cartoon, but uh, we're only getting started, and while it is a voice that we'll be stuck with for about 80% of this production, I'm just going to take a chance and carry on, because... Is the season? Olive goes home to her master, whom the latter seems sad about something. I don't know how you can call yourself a dog, Olive. Come on, Tim. You know I'm not for that silly stuff. I've tried to be man's best friend by being your best friend. Hmm. One half of me thinks that their relationship is about as bland as candy corn gummies, while the other half is questioning how humans and animals can just talk to each other in this world. Let's not fight at Christmas. There's no Christmas this year. <sighs> Why? 
Santa is expected to cancel his traditional Christmas Eve flight. <gasps> Blitz and the reindeer was injured earlier today during a practice flight and won't recover in time. Oh no. I guess I'll just have to go celebrate that alternative holiday that I seem to do every year when I'm not celebrating Christmas. Resusalem. <laughs> I also take PayPal. Maybe somehow we'll make do with all of the other reindeer. But if not, Merry Christmas anyway. Did Santa just say Olive, the other reindeer? Santa needs you to be the replacement reindeer. Oh, come on, Olive. I know you've been very naive these past five minutes, but don't let the dad from the B-movie in free form get to you. Even though it's kind of distracting how Santa can just make radio statements like he's freaking Obama or something. Olive! Uh-oh, here comes Tim! Well, maybe Olive's owner coming to apologize will lighten the mood. Olive, I came to apologize. What did he say? I think he said, I'm ashamed of all your lies. <sighs> Wait, what? You didn't do anything wrong. Santa's not flying and I took it out on you. You always do everything wrong. Santa's not flying. Wait, why are you carrying on with the trout fondue? This seems we can a little. Still have Christmas. Come on in the house. I'm lighting the Yule log, and there's a space for you. You can't kill my Christmas. Get can't out we of just? House. I'm getting a new dog, and I'm replacing you. But, 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 can, can, can I love you a second? Can I love you a second? Can I love you a second? Can I say about your <laughs> I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't heard it myself. I can't tell if he's being serious or being a complete what. But either way. This is horrible! This film, this promised heartwarming adventure for all the families being to exist, is because of this one of many examples of Dick Moves 101. Just awful! All of the other reindeer, hooray! <laughs> I'm gonna murder his parents! You were right. I've got to get to the North Pole and pull that sleigh. Tim seems to blame me for Santa not flying, but maybe I can still be his dog if I can be Santa's other reindeer. But because of this misunderstanding, if you can call it that, Olive decides to go to the North Pole and fulfill her ancient duty. I cannot wait for this outcome to bleed into my organs. On her way, she encounters the Robot Devil. I'm serious. Listen. Oh, that's okay, Olive. No harm done. No, not today. The matter? The matter? The no more Christmas spirit. We're breaking the cycle of despair. By next year, people will have forgotten about Christmas. Robot devil. Just... No, but no, it's It's just... Robot devil. You still don't believe me? You still don't believe that this... Random character doesn't sound like that one character that we all come to know and love from that really well-known sci-fi sitcom show. Well, what if I was to tell you that this character sing? One flimsy little Christmas card. Surely that can't be too hard. But multiply it a billion fold and see why Christmas leaves me cold. Christmas. Bah, bug and hum. Robot Devil next. As of now, Christmas is over. Hate to disappoint you, but I'm going to the North Pole to save Santa's flight. Nobody's going to help that lousy old Santa. Stay away from the North Pole, or I'll hand cancel you. You got a real sick sense of humor, John. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Riding or chasing? Riding. Dog jokes. That's what carries the weight of the humor in this movie. Oh no, I think I threw away the receipt. No returns, I'm afraid. Sorry. At the bus station, Olive comes across a penguin who I swear is pretty much your everyday New Yorker with a mafia fetish. No, Martini. Why don't you go pursue other opportunities? Come on, I I'll pay you back later. I it's Christmas. There's no room at the inn. Please. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Like, like I'm gonna trust that one guy from the Sopranos. You know, the, the, the guy in the Sopranos that did... I need to watch more TV. It's time to saddle up and ride into Ponyville. Cool! All your favourite pony pals are here clip-clopping along. And Spike, too. Join Twilight Sparkle and all her friends as they give each other a helping hoot. Ah! Learning about life, but sharing is caring. Ah! Friendship ah! is magic. Ah! And sometimes it takes a friend to show you the way. My Little Pony, new series, weekdays at 3 on Boomerang. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let me go! But the robot devil attempts to put Olive's quest on hold. Literally. And the penguin stops this by... <laughs> oh. oh! This animation! Oh! Wow! Oh! You guys! Oh! Did you give Grizzly Tails lessons on how to... suck? Oh! Wow! Oh! You precursors, this is how special you are. Ah! Are we good? Yeah, yeah, happy, happy. Well. No. No! And also, I should point out that throughout all this movie, the robot devil attempts in every way possible to stop Olive from getting to the North Pole. Sort of like Wile E. Coyote style, but awkward. But nowhere near as awkward as this little Easter egg. I live, I live, I live, I live, I live, I live, I live. This captain is logical. Our heroes eventually get led into a bar with rough characters inside. Oh gee, I wonder if they'll all act mean to Olive for no reason at all? Oh really? Let's see! <gasps> oh! <laughs> Amazing! Just what Santa needs. Uh, oh! It's a miracle. We found another flying reindeer and Christmas is back on again. Oh, oh boy! Just what I always wanted! Oh, Except that they sound Just tired and boring and I want another one! Yeah, I'm tough, I guess. Oh! Again. Ow! Also, do we see Olive giving an awe-inspiring speech to those who lost their faith in Santa and the Christmas holiday in general? Santa doesn't just give you stuff because you ask. You have to deserve it. I'm trying to deserve the good things I have and the good things I hope I will have in the future. If you want me to fail, then I guess it's too late to save Christmas. It's already gone. Yeah! I wanted that too! Cancel Christmas. But the speech is broken and not functionally even properly. Don't know what a Christmas ever! And gee, Willikers! How will our hard thugs with hearts of gold repent for their despicable behavior? When you're this far north with no sunlight, sometimes tempers fray. Life's hard enough, and now Santa's flight. It's been an awful day. So forgive us if we all have attitudes. We're up a frozen crack. We're not so bad. We're, not so bad. We're really sweet and funny. Well, I can't say that I was expecting this in my stocking. Okay, in all seriousness, what washed up singer did they get to make this delightful chip? Oh. Lead singer of R.E.M., huh? Oh. Real emotion. Molested. We're not so bad. We're not so bad. We're not so bad. So after that complexity, Olive and the Penguin catch a ride on the Polo Express. I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even joking. That's, that's what says on the vehicle. I, what, how many, what, you know what? But they finally make it to Santa's workshop. They do, however, have a little trouble at the front gate. I'm filling in for Blitzen. I can't let you in. But I have to... No. 
Isn't there someone who I could talk? No. Don't you even care? Let me think. No. But I... Hello, is this Mr. Director of Albertsons? Yeah, speaking. Yeah, I just want to ask a hypothetical question real quick. Of course, go ahead. What if a dog believing she was a reindeer went up to your customer service desk and then the person in charge was being like, oh no, you can't have anything here. No, no, no. Uh, how would you treat the, uh, the associate's actions in question? Well, to that employee, I would say, never show your face in my company or any of my employees again, you little bollocks. <laughs> Well, through the means of typical New York scam tips for the little key, Olive breaks through the gates and finds jolly old Saint Nick, voiced by Edward Eisner, who doesn't seem jolly with the mail he's getting. So many of the kids' letters this year haven't been very nice. Dear Santa, I hate you. Don't come to my house. Johnny, lose some weight and get a real job. It's weird how all these children's letters have the exact same handwriting. Ah, uh, to be young and fo fo foolish. Those letters are fake. I know who's been writing those letters. They're all from a very mean postman who wants to wreck Christmas. <gasps> Look at the envelopes. No postmarks. Hmm. Yeah. That's true. But just who might you be, little doggy? I'm actually not a dog. I'm Olive. Okay, so we're finally at the scene where Olive is gonna spew her theory about how she thinks she's the other reindeer and can help save Christmas. You know what? I don't wanna be awkward or feel anyone's gonna be let down by this, so uh, let's just skip to the part where Sansa's just like, he, he doesn't believe her, all right? Can you fly, Olive? Can you afford not to find out? Well now, if you're sure all those mean letters aren't from real kids... Ho, 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 people! We're flying! Okay! Yeah. Yeah. Tell the media. Okay. Load up the sleigh. Yeah. Come on, help Alan here get hitched up. <laughs> you know what I just suddenly realized? This special has zero to do with Christmas. I mean, there's Christmas in it, but there's no spirit of Christmas, if that makes sense. I don't feel it. I, you know what? Let me give you a few examples on this, okay? Um, let's say, A Christmas Story. That film has the experiences of anyone old and young that can relate into the holidays and thus have an emotional connection with the characters. All of the other reindeer has a scene where jokes are said and uh, no, nothing's progressed. Now, of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, while that movie could be awkward, it could also be relatable with the struggle to cope with all the bad things that are happening so that the dad can bring just a little bit of happiness to his family. All of the other reindeer has characters that I don't care about. A Christmas Carol, the, the original story or any of its mainstream adaptations, helps guide the light for those who've lost the spirit of the holidays and brings all together to spread the joy and love of the most wonderful time of the year. All of the other reindeer's imagination lacks meaning and its morals of those who try to find it. Now, any one of you watching this video could be like, Oh, but this special's its own thing. It does the uh, holiday justice with its own alternative telling. If you think that, I should question you. But my point for my statement is this. Those other films that I've just mentioned, they have connections, they have sorrow, they have struggle, they have enlightenment, while this one has none of that. Nothing makes this special any form of a Christmas classic, let alone 
a, just a general Christmas movie in general. And that, that is this special's biggest crime. When you don't have the spirit of Christmas with you the entire way and make the audience feel glad that they're alive and that they can share their joy and love with those around them and everyone else in the entire world, you lost major points for me. I have no respect for you. That said, do I really want to carry on with this? I mean, we've got 15 more minutes of this, and I'm just going to be old Mr. Predicty Pants over here and just say that the postman has one last attempt to ruin Christmas, but he's thwarted by our heroes wherein Olive helps deliver the presents for everyone in the world and everyone becomes friends and goes on their merry way. No. I didn't think so. Because this special doesn't care. So in theory, why should I care? Also, why would the robot devil want to steal all the toys for himself anyway? I mean... I mean, seriously, what's what's a grown-ass man going to do with children's accessories and all that other fancy-cancy gizmos in those socks, huh? Wait, what? What do you mean when it was DK? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm spoiling myself. I still don't care. Merry Christmas, Olive! Now, is, isn't that precious? That anti-Jimmy Cricket guy, he did bring the man and his dog together after all! And better yet, he's not shown regret for it, all of his actions! Too bad that I already murdered his parents. Boys and girls. Never let your conscience be your guide. Otherwise, you'll get the rare chance that all of the other f reindeer is on Fox again. Jesus! You know what? I'm, I'm gonna be level with you here, Mr. Uh, Mr. Anonymous uh, person that sent me this. This is your fault, okay? You sending me these requests of these horrible Christmas specials. I want to feel happy about this, Holly, but instead you're making me feel. Bad? Why? Why? Why should I listen to any more of your buffoonery? You know what? I'm done. I'm done. 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 Spent. Over. With. Your. Taint. Yeah. Screw this show. I'm gonna celebrate Christmas in my own light, and you people can't join me with it. I'm gonna sit on down and watch my favorite Christmas special of all time and just have fun, love, joy, all to myself. Oh yes, I'm gonna watch that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>